Hey guys, good afternoon. Uh, today is Wednesday, July 10th, and it's around it's uh, 6 37 p.m. and um, it's about I believe it's about uh, yep 84 degrees out today, uh, so not bad. Uh, but I wanted to uh, do a quick video. Uh, because uh, since our last video, uh, I believe my last video was about uh, surviving uh, about a two-month drought that we had. Well, since that video, uh, we had a lot of rain here in uh, Central Florida, and which is awesome. However, this is one thing I'm noticing that um, even though we've had a lot of rain I'm noticing some patches like this in my um, front lawn and I'm starting to think actually I believe that I have fungus on my lawn you know technically I should have no dry patches with all the rain we've gotten. Um, but I did a little research, and uh, one of my uh, one of the things I was doing is watering around 9 p.m. And um, you know, I had one of my viewers comment uh, and say that uh, that's a no-no. You know, look at that; it looks pretty good right here. Uh, but you know, um, I also got a little, uh, after doing some research, I I read somewhere where uh, too much water is also, is, is also bad, uh, same as uh, not enough water. So uh, we've gotten a lot of rain uh, to the point where since my last video, I have not turned on my sprinklers, which is, uh, which is awesome. And it's done wonders for my lawn, but again, there's another brown patch here. Uh, so, so yeah. So um, I uh, actually bought a product that I'm gonna about to apply right now. I just want to show you. This has always been a little trouble area here, but it's gotten a lot better. But Overall, not bad, but I'm still seeing a lot of uh, my lawn got uh, extremely green for a few few weeks, and then I started seeing those uh, brown spots here and there. Let me see another area. Uh, look at this. So far, every video I've seen regarding fungus, um, I'm seeing blades similar to that right here. Uh. Hey guys, so this is the this is what I got right here: fungus control for lawns, and got this at Lowe's for about. $19 covers 5,000 square feet so yeah just a few things I wanted to point out here um, it says uh, to control disease uh, reapply every 14 days until the low lawn shows signs of recovery so because I'm, I'm showing some uh, signs of uh, fungus already uh, is asking to apply every 14 days. Uh, the other thing uh, I wanted to show you is it says uh, apply when temperatures are greater than uh, I'm sorry do not apply when temperatures are greater than 85 degrees so as you saw earlier uh, the temperature right now is 84 degrees so it's perfect weather right now for this um, and then the other thing it says rain or watering after 
spray has dried will not wash away effectiveness. So if you notice right now, <clears throat> it's been raining almost every day. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and um, apply this before it rains. So hopefully before the rain comes, um, this area right here has dried already. So I'm gonna apply to this front area here, the side here, and I'm also gonna do the left side of the home on my house and also the right side of the building for my house. So again, this is it right here. And you can get this at Lowe's. So I'm just gonna experiment with this and see if I get some good results and hopefully I make another quick video um, in a few weeks or maybe after I do two applications of this right here. All right. Just finished applying that bottle. I did this side, right side of the house. I did the back, and I did the, the other side of the house over there. And I even got a few uh, small area here on the, that big piece of my piece of my lot right there. So um, I'll probably make a couple of applications with this product right here. Again. This is the fungus control for lawns, $19. And he's asking to apply every 14 days. You already noticed some fungus on your lawn to, uh, so in order to uh, try to get rid of the fungus. So I'll make a short video in a few weeks. Well, actually in about 20 days to see if I'm getting any results out of this. All right, guys, take care. Hey guys, so before I go, I wanted to mention uh, something about this. Um, make sure if you're gonna use this product, uh, make sure that when you're spraying it, make sure you hold it from here as well as from here. Um, I notice, uh, and, and make sure you wear some eye protection. Uh, so I always use eye protection and I always use gloves. But I noticed while I was spraying this that um, I held it the wrong way and I held it like this and as I, I was as I was moving I noticed that by mistake I flipped this to the almost all the way around towards me. So um, if I wouldn't have been careful uh, I could have sprayed uh, the chemical into my eyes. So, it's a stupid mistake on my part, but I just wanted to make sure you guys are aware of uh, what almost happened to me. So, once again, hold it like this, and put your other hand like this, um, and you should be okay. Also, make sure you wear eye protection. Alright guys.
How you doing, sir? So one last thing, I just wanted to reference the area where I was showing uh, some fungus, a lot of fungus, uh, so that maybe in the next few videos, we'll be able to see any improvement. So this is my front, front door, front pathway there, and the area is right here. So we'll come back to this, hopefully a few weeks from now, and to see if any of what we saw, which is uh, this right here. Let's see if I can focus on that. Yep, this right here. If some of that goes away, uh, it improves, see if this product works or not. All right, guys, uh, y'all have a great day.